Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of Tech Tips. My name is Basir. And this week we will be talking about how we can get a master bill of material. So we have our regular bill of material which we get for each single panel on our panel shop drawings. It tells us exactly what studs we have, what's the length, the weight, etc. for that one panel. Our master bill of material, however, will tell us how much what, how many studs we have for the entire project, what's their length, what's their mass, and you know, we're, so we know exactly how much steel to order for that particular project, etc. In order to achieve that, we will be utilizing the Revit schedules, particularly the Revit structural column schedule, which will tell us for all our vertical members, our studs, kinks, studs, jack studs, cripples, and the structural framing schedule which is for all our horizontal members, our top, bottom track, header, sill, uh, blocking, bracing, etc. What Before we get started, you guys want to make sure you have the weight parameter associated to your stud and horizontal family right over here. You'll notice they have a weight. It's going to be a linear weight, so pounds per foot or kilogram per meter per centimeter per millimeter, depending on what metric or imperial. If you select our structural families, so any, any one of our families has a structural within its team, will contain the weight parameter. If you have your own unique families, you could go ahead and ha add it. You could refer to the first ever tech tip. My colleague Byron shows you guys how to create, how to add that weight parameter to your families. So let's go ahead and create a new schedule. And we are going to select this category, structural column. Simply hit OK. And now we're ready to select the fields, group them the way we want them, etc. We're going to select the BIM SF container, which tells us exactly what panel it belongs to, the family and type, the count, so we know exactly how many we have, the length, and the weight. Under the sorting and grouping, we are going to group them by the container, by the family and type along with the length. And we're going to uncheck this itemize every instance. You want to actually group them if they are uh, if they have the same, the same family type and they're part of the same container. We hit OK. And you'll notice that we have our bill of materials. You'll notice that, for example, for panel 2, I have three, uh, I have three members, 400S162, that are 1 foot 11 and 7 8. Two of them that are seven foot, and then 22 of them that are eight foot, 11, and seven eight. You'll notice, however, that for my weight, it only displays my linear weight. So whatever I've set up in my family is going to be displayed right over here. That's because we need to create a calculated value. So I'm simply going to hit the edit under my fields again, and create a calculated value, call it total weight. It is going to be a formula. We're going to put it under the structural discipline and under the weight type. <coughs> under formula, we are going to say that we want to calculate the weight multiplied by my length. Simply hit OK. Hit OK for that column to get populated. And you'll notice that it gets populated as a pound per pound force. So it's 1.17 pounds per feet multiplied by 8. 8 foot 11 and a half is going to give me 10.148 pounds. We go ahead and hide this uh, weight column since we don't want to see it. It absolutely needs to be visible, but if we do not want to see it, we can simply hide it so it does not show up. We're now ready to export this family onto a CSV file, print it out, etc. You'll notice that it goes up to panel 32, panel 17, 16, etc. As I keep modeling my panels, as I keep, you know, creating panel, for example, I'm going to quick create this panel. It is going to be panel 18. You'll notice that under my structural column, I have panel 18 that gets populated right down here. It tells me exactly how much they weigh, what they're consuming of. So as I keep modeling this schedule will keep on growing. You can create it at the beginning and you'll have it forever. I also went ahead and created a 
structural framing schedule tells me exactly what my T members are, my horizontal members are, gives me weight, etc. Thank you very much, guys. This has been Tech Tip. See you guys next time.